Well, every bass angler dreams about those days when they get these arm ripping strikes. Well, these are two very distinct situations that have produced this type of bite for me time and time again over the years, but you gotta prepare yourself mentally because they can be a pain to fish in these conditions. And as a matter of fact, many anglers just avoid them altogether, which means you might have these areas all to yourself. Number one is to find where this heavy summer boat traffic, the wakes, the boat wakes are washing across something. Now, yes, where boat wakes wash into a shoreline can activate the feeding instinct, but where they wash across something, think of like your funnels or points, they create hard spots. They create clean areas. This is especially pronounced if you fish a lake that normally has a silty bottom to it. Those boat wakes on the weekends just constantly coming across these areas can make for extremely defined hard bottom composition that bass are just drawn to. Now if you have very shallow point or a very shallow funnel, these can be really clean, okay? Almost no silt on them whatsoever. But even if they're a little bit deeper, they're going to have less silt and be cleaner than the surrounding areas. And I've seen time and time again where these particular spots just hold a ton of fish. That boat traffic is more annoying for us than it is for the bass. If you can, whether you're a shore angler or you're fishing from a boat, try to position yourself on the side, the down current side, so where these boat wakes are coming through, try to get on the back side of it where you can fish safely, but still target these hard, clean areas. I have had tremendous days when the weekends are the busiest and it's the most frustrating out there, but I've just caught a ton of fish and a lot of nice sized fish as well. The second situation is find the windiest shoreline that you absolutely can. And of course, there comes a point where it's impossible to fish in a wind, right? Where it's unsafe or it's just overpowering your trolling motor or you can't make any casts. I know fishing in the wind can be an absolute nightmare, but as far as arm ripping strikes, I can think of so many places. Oneida Lake, the Mississippi River, Norfolk Lake, Bull Shoals Lake, all these places where I've targeted windblown banks and the bass just annihilate what I put out there. It is so much fun. And one of the benefits are, you're probably gonna be one of the few anglers targeting these locations because others are trying to get out of that wind. Now, as far as making the most of these wind-blown banks, I like to use two lures personally. That's either a spinner bait or a swim jig. Now, there's lots of them that you could use. Anything that uh, has that horizontal presentation is gonna be really good. I am trying to cover water, okay? I'm not picking apart little things here and there. I'm gonna go down those wind-blown banks and just cover as much water as I can. And when I find those fish, know that this wind has a tendency to stay them up in really small places. I mentioned the Mississippi River. This is one of the few times when I've had three anglers in the boat and we are getting triple after triple after triple. That's right, people are catching three fish at a time and these bass were stacked in a small pocket and the wind was just absolutely hammering into this pocket. It was a pain to be out there, but man, it was one of the best moments I've ever had bass fishing. And hey, if you would like to watch a video that talks about a type of structure element that holds fish all year, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.